Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Euro Cooking Canuck. On tonight's installment of Memories of Malta, I'm going to be showing you how to do something two different ways. What I'm making tonight is called Aratwil Mimli, and what that is is a stuffed long squash. Now the first version I'm going to show you is the Aratwil Mimli Bricotta, and that's stuffed with ricotta cheese. The second version I'm going to show you is the Aratwil Mimli Bil Laham, and the Laham I'm using tonight is Tajij, which is chicken. But you're free to go ahead and use ground pork, ground veal, ground beef, a combo, it's up to you. So guys, sit back and I'll be right back and show you what we're going to need to make Aratwil Mimli. Hey gang, I'm back to show you everything you're going to need to stuff your long squash. Now obviously I have two long squash, one for each filling, and this is a long squash. Um, it's light green in color, um, and it's quite long. Now, they do come longer, but, um, you know, I'm by myself, and I'm not going to pick one the size of a train. So, this is perfect for, you know, even, even up to four people if you're going to do both. So, right, so the first thing is the meat mixture. I have my ground mince here, which I'm using um, minced chicken. Again, you guys can go ahead, use veal, beef. Uh, pork, turkey, chicken, combo, it's up to you. Into your mince, you're going to put some finely chopped flat leaf parsley. You're going to put some finely grated Parmesan cheese, a little bit of ground sea salt, and freshly ground black pepper. And optionally, you can put in some minced garlic, which I'm going to go ahead and do. Now, you also may want to add about a tablespoon of conserva, which is the tomato paste. For the ricotta version, what I have here are two tubs of light ricotta. I'm not going to use them all, obviously, but I think I might need a little bit more than the 300 grams. If you can find a larger tub, that's great for one. So, into the ricotta mixture, again, you're going to put in some finely chopped um, parsley, a couple of eggs, again with the Parmesan cheese, now go lightly on the salt again, of course some ground black pepper, and that's it. So guys, this is all the stuff you're going to need to stuff your, your long squash with, stuff to stuff. Alright guys, I'm going to be right back and show you what you're going to need to make the um, broth or the brodu. Alright. Okay guys, I'm back to show you what you're going to need to make your broth or your broth do. Into your water, you're going to use celery, carrots, I have three here, a cooking onion, peas, and I'm using frozen peas. You can go ahead and use fresh if you have them. And then again, you'll probably need about a tablespoon of um, conserva or tomato paste a bouillon cube, and some salt and pepper to taste. And that's it guys. The broth should not be um, very, very red. It should almost be a clear broth. And um, you will just top up the water accordingly. Okay guys, I'm going to be right back and show you what I do next. Alright guys, so what I've gone ahead and done already is I've chopped up all my veggies for my brodu. So the carrots, the celery, and the onion, they're all chopped up and they're ready. <clears throat> now it's time to prepare our um, aratwil for stuffing. So you can, if you wanted, to hollow out the whole thing. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this into pieces. I'm going to cut it twice, let's say. There's one... And there's two. All right, so I'm left with three pieces. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, and if you can notice, the atatwil or the long squash, they are, you know, filled with seeds. They do have a lot of seeds. So with a spoon, <clears throat> I'm just simply, and I'm hoping I'm showing you, I'm going to go around with the spoon. take out all those seeds. You can go ahead on the other side as well. And be careful, um, I hope I'm showing you, but be careful not to 
take too much of the flesh away because that's what's gonna you know hold this guy together and then once you have it going it's a simply a matter of um, going around with your spoon and removing the rest of the seeds now it's hard to see what I'm doing and show you guys this at the same time but I think you guys get the gist of it so I'm simply going around with my spoon carefully and then you can you know scrape out remaining seeds Like I said, it's like a squash. Or have you ever, if, if you've ever taken the seeds out of a melon, like a honeydew or a, a cantaloupe, it's kind of the same deal. Right, I think I got this guy pretty, pretty much hollowed out. So, there it is, hollowed out. Just, you know, go around and knead it up a little bit. And that's it. So I'm going to continue with all of the pieces of my arat wheel. And, and then I'll be back and show you the fillings. I just wanted to mention this stuff here. If you have a compost, guys, throw it in there. Don't just toss it in the garbage. Um, what I do with a lot of, well, all of my um, <clears throat> vegetable matter, I throw it in my compost. And I'm telling you, the soil that comes out is rich, black, beautiful. And sometimes you're surprised because something might grow. <laughs> I've had things grow that I didn't plan on. Anyways, guys, I digress. These are going to be hollowed out, and I'll be back and show you the meat filling first. All right, everyone, I'm back with our two fillings. Our ricotta filling just is the ricotta cheese, some Parmesan cheese, the um, parsley, salt, and ground black pepper. The mince meat um, is with basically the same things. There's a tablespoon of conserva, which is tomato paste, parsley, parmesan, garlic, salt, and pepper. Now, you don't really need egg and um, breadcrumbs to bind this because you have the conserva and you have the grated parmesan, which kind of subs for the two of them. So, guys, what's next to do? Stuff. I'll be right back and show you what's next. Okay, gang, I'm back, and all of my arat wheel are stuffed. I have the meat stuffing here and the ricotta here. There are my vegetables. The peas will go in near the end because they don't take long to cook. I have my tablespoon of conserva and the bouillon cube. So all I need to do to this is add some water, set it on the stove, and gently and slowly cook this, put a lid on it, and when it's done, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Hey guys, okay, our arat wheel mimli is done. I have here both versions, the ricotta and the meat. Um, our brodu, as I said, is not quite red. It's a little um, opaque, see-through, and you have in here your carrots, your celery, your peas, your onions, and the aroma is great. The um, long squash cooked really, really nicely and soft, and all that's left to do is really eat. Um, by the way, there are the eggs in the ricotta mixture. I know I said in the beginning to add eggs, but when I showed you the mixture, I forgot to mention that there were eggs, but there are the two eggs in there. So that's it, and all that's left to do is to eat. Um, before I leave, I just wanted to um, give a shout out to a friend um, and subscriber, Brian in Vancouver, Canada. Brian, thank you so much. I know you watch my videos and you have um, made a few of my recipes. So I really wanna thank you and I wanna thank you for the pep talk and thank you for the encouragement. It really, me really, really means a lot. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please hit like, please subscribe, please comment, and we'll see you next time on Memories of Malta. Grazie, Hafna. Ciao.